the next implication is that in in hospitals the equipments are boiled in autoclaves equipments are boiled in autoclaves autoclaves are, are like pressure cookers so so their pressure is higher so the boiling point is high so 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 when it boils there what happens many of the germs get killed at the higher temperature okay equipments are boiled in autoclaves at at a higher pressure than the normal at a higher pressure than the than the normal this helps in this kills the germs this kills the germs and sterilizes the equipment there are so many things right the forceps the scissors you you cannot keep on throwing them after one operation right so so you actually put it in autoclaves okay now one more point is suppose you have a transparent cooker and you start heating water fine so say if we start heating water in a closed container if we start heating water in a closed container then we can see a clear liquid gas boundary initially as you as you heat the as you heat it more and more what happens what happens more and more liquid starts turning into vapor and a temperature comes at which at which there is simply there is simply no distinction between the liquid and the vapor phase that temperature is called the critical temperature as we increase the temperature more and more liquid turns into vapor and the boundary becomes and the boundary becomes indistinguishable indistinguishable at a particular temperature so what happens below this temperature suddenly the liquid will appear and above it it's all gas this temperature is what we call the critical temperature okay this temperature is called the critical temperature tc right which we have studied earlier the same in the last section the the concept of critical temperature that we were doing was the same no difference okay fine so hope hope you had written that okay fine